Assalamu alaikum dear students today we are going to discuss how to find you know the absolute maximum and the absolute minimum of the given functions now the question number which is the question number fifth of this exercise and the first part is find a find absolute maximum and the minimum of f of x equals to x cube in interval minus 2 to closed interval minus 2 to now you know that absolute uh, maximum or the absolute minimum exists at end points or at the uh, critical points so firstly we will find its critical points that is where derivative is zero now here f dash of f of x is x cube which implies that its derivative is 3x square when for critical points f dash of x is zero implies that 3x square is zero or x equals to zero so this means that we have to check or we have to find the value of the function value of this function at critical point or and at the end points now f dash of z, f of 0 is 0 by substituting x equals to 0 f of 2 is 8 and f of minus 2 is minus 8 among these the uh, greatest value is 8 which implies that 8 is the absolute maximum value exists at point x equals to 2 similarly minus 8 is the least value which implies that absolute minimum is minus 8 it is minus 8 which exists at point x equals to minus 2 hence the absolute maximum is 8 while as the absolute minimum value is minus 8 which exists at point x equals to minus 2 now we will consider you know how to find absolute maximum and the minimum value of trigonometric function like sin x plus cos x when x belongs to interval 0 to pi now we will use you know the same procedure like we use it in this example we firstly we will find its critical points which is cos x minus sin x is 0 because derivative is 0 it is derivative is cos x minus sin x or sin x equals to cos x or tan x equals to 1 you know that tan pi by 4 is 1 which implies that x equals to pi by 4 this means that x equals to pi by 4 is the critical point now we will find or we will check the value of f of x at these points that is at the critical point and at the end points of this domain end points are pi by 4 this is 0 and pi while as critical point is pi by 4 Now f of 0 on substituting x equals to 0 in given function is 1. f of phi on substituting it is minus 1. And f of pi by 4 is 1 by is simply root 2. Because sin pi by 4 is 1 by root 2. And cos pi by 4 is 1 by root 2. Which implies that absolute maximum is root 2. Which exists at point pi by 4. While as the absolute minimum is minus 1. Which exists at point x equals to pi. Now the question number six, find the maximum profit that a company can make if the profit function is given by p of x equals to 41 minus 24 x minus 18 x square. Here we have to simply find the local maxima and the local maximum value because we have to find you know the maximum profit that a company can make. Now p dash for uh, local maxima or the local minima we will apply you know we will use first derivative test or second derivative test usually we use the second derivative test for second derivative we have to differentiate this for critical points that is minus 24 minus 30 x for uh, uh, critical points p dash of x is 0 implies that x equals to minus 2 by 3 also it is double derivative is minus 36 because by differentiating p dash of x that is minus 36 now add minus 2 by 3 p double dash of x is minus 36 minus 36 this minus 36 is less than 0 so this means that it is negative now when add x equals to minus 2 by 3 value p double dash of x is negative implies that x equals to minus 2 by 3 is the point of local maxima because by second derivative test hence the local maximum value is p, p of minus 2 by 3 which is 49 which implies that the maximum profit that a company can make is 49 units hence we can also here we can also use here you know the first derivative test 
in which we check you know the sign of derivative whether it changes from positive to negative or from negative to positive now we have to find points in the interval 0 to 2 pi at which the function assigned to x attains its maximum value now here f of x is assigned to x f dash of x is twice cos 2x because its differentiation is twice cos 2x now for critical points derivative is 0 implies that 2 cos 2x is 0 or simply cos 2x equals to 0 now cos of 0 is this cos of pi by 2 is 0 because cos 90 is 0 which implies that we have identity that is cos 2x equals to cos pi by 2 now using this identity that is cos x equals to cos y implies that x equals to 2 and pi plus minus y but we have to consider only those x's which belongs to this interval and using this and considering these points from this uh, 0 to 2 pi we only get x equals to pi by 4 3 pi by 4 5 pi by 4 7 pi by 4 so at these points the derivative is 0 in interval 0 to 2 pi now we will find the value of the function at these points and at the end points now clearly f of 0 is 0 f of 2 pi is 0 f of pi by 4 is 1 f of 3 pi by 4 is minus 1 f of 5 pi by 4 is 1 and f of 7 pi by 4 is 1 now we have to find the points in interval 0 to 2 pi at which the maximum absolute maximum value exists now the maximum value is 1 1 and 1 so this means that at these two points that is at pi by 4 and at 5 pi by 4 the absolute maximum value of this function is occurring hence x equals to 5 by 4 and 5 pi by 4 or the point is only points in interval 0 to 2 pi at which the absolute maximum value exists hence in this way we find the points so thank you